mental health services, asylum seekers, refugees, permanent residents, holders of temporary visas, and families. Think about what would you do if you broke a leg? What would happen if you didn't seek help after injuring your leg? How long would you be able to function with the pain of a broken leg? What, would a, what about attending study or going to work or looking after your family? Just as your physical health is important for you to function and enjoy life, you need good mental health too. Do you seek for help for your mental health as you do for your physical health? We all experience challenging emotional issues at different times. We can't always deal with these on our own. Asking for help is a sign of strength. Signs that it's time to talk to someone about your mental health. You've been feeling worried, sad, down, angry, depressed, numb or generally not yourself for two weeks or more. You are experiencing sleep problems or inexplicable physical pain and aches. Often you have poor appetite and lack of energy, not wanting to be around people. The way you are feeling is affecting your ability to cope at work, school, or in your relationships. Where to ask for help? Talk to your GP and ask for mental health plan. You will need to request a long consultation with your doctor to allow enough time to prepare your care plan and discuss your treatment options. You and the doctor will make the plan together to help you get better. Your doctor will help you to work out what services you need, set goals and decide on the best treatment options for you. Everyone's treatment needs are different. A mental health care plan might include a referral to an expert such as psychologist, Sessions with a social worker or another allied health practitioner. Talk to your GP and ask for a mental health plan. What if I'm scared about talking about my mental health? It is okay to be nervous before you talk to your doctor about your mental health, particularly if this is a topic you don't talk too much about with anyone in your life. If you are feeling nervous, you might find it helpful to talk about your, your feelings with a trusted family member, friend or support worker, or write down your mental health concerns before you go to the doctor. Having a mental health condition doesn't make you strange, crazy, or scary. It doesn't mean you are a bad person, that you are weak, or that you haven't looked after yourself properly. It just means that right now you are experiencing an illness, but with the right treatment, you can get better. What other supports are available? If you are experiencing difficulties in life, you might consider seeing a counselor. Counselors are health professionals who talk to you about issues in your life that are causing emotional pain or making you feel uncomfortable and help you solve them. A counselor can provide a safe and regular space for you to talk and explore difficult feelings. Counseling services in Geelong, BCYF, Refugee and Asylum Seeker Counseling Service. You can ask for emotional support if you are newly arrived or even if you have been in Australia for many years by calling VCYF on 03 8900. Referrals can also be made by anyone else that may be supporting you such as your caseworker, refugee health nurse or GP. 
headspace if you are between 12 and 25 years old and you are experiencing a tough time you can access support for your mental and physical health calling headspace on 03-5222-6690 or visiting one of the services sites in Korayo, Level 1 Korayo Village or Geelong City, 105 Yara Street. Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service, CAMHS. You can access mental health support for children and adolescents from 0 to 15 years old on 42158631 and after hours 13000094187. Head to help. This is an over the phone counseling service available for anyone living in Victoria. The service can be assessed on phone one eight zero zero five nine five two one two. You will be asked to enter your postcode before being connected with the interpreting service. You can also call Bowen Health in your lane on four two one five eight zero six five and asking for mental health support. Crisis services. If you need immediate help, there are many telephone helplines that offer mental health support and counseling 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Helplines are a great resource if you or someone you are supporting is struggling with mental health issues. Sometimes, just by talking things through, things can become clearer and easier to manage. Beyond the Blue, 13002246636. Lifeline, 131114. Saint Australia, 18001872263. Kids Helpline, 18005518. Suicide call back services one three zero zero six five nine four six seven. All of these services are free of cost for all permanent residents as well as holders of temporary visas. If language is a barrier, you should always be supported with an appropriate interpreter. To contact the service through the Translation and Interpreting Services, TIS, call on 131-450. Ask for the language you need, the service provider you would like to contact, Persian Headspace, for example, and the phone number. You don't need a GP referral to access counseling services. The sooner you talk about your mental health, the sooner you will get the help and support you need to move forward and feel stronger. Asking for help is a sign of strength. For any questions about mental health services or to learn more about well-being supports available for you, please contact the Multicultural Mental Health Wellbeing Workers at Diversitas on 52606000 or email them at jeanette.morino at diversitat.org.au or melissa.bird at diversitat.org.au.